and welcome back to New Regina 120. I'm Jeff Cliff, and this is a series of 120 videos of things that I learned as a student at the University of Regina that I think that you should know. And today we're going to be talking about uh, proverbs, or sayings, uh, or uh, specifically sayings that have implications in justifying actions, or perceptions, or beliefs, uh, or specifically justifying past actions, and past perceptions and past beliefs, uh, or maybe even future ones. Uh, proverbs specifically you can find in religious texts. I, when I grew up, uh, my family had a Bible at home, uh, and that uh, I think it was at the front of the Bible had a whole list of uh, questions that you could ask, uh, or kind of emotional states that you could be in, where if you wanted to find guidance, you could open up page 250 or whatever uh, for that particular topic or that particular question. And it wasn't that um, comprehensive, but it was. Uh, there was a lot of questions that you could ask, uh, and it would have kind of ready answers to that kind of question. Uh, and in general, uh, these kinds of sayings or uh, kind of short quotes uh, that provide guidance uh, save thinking because you don't have to look at the situation and come up with an original answer to it. Uh, if you've got an answer staring you in the face in front of you, uh, that someone else has done a lot of hard work in the past to think of a solution or an answer uh, or, or just a way of thinking about the problem uh, in the form of a small quote or, or a you know metaphor or uh, a saying of some kind to give guidance. And so it, it can save a lot of effort in, in thinking if you've got it at hand. And uh, given how much of our life is spent solving problems and tr kind of trying to wrap our minds around uh, problem-like situations, uh, it shouldn't surprise us that a lot of the advice that we would find in proverbs uh, or in short quotes uh, or things like them are going to be about problem-solving itself. Uh, and so you, you can start to gather them together uh, and see if you can do something with that. Uh, See if you can find uh, proverbs that deal with finding means to an end, or or finding uh, you know ways to approach situations that are helpful. In oral histories, uh, and practically anywhere where there's large numbers of people over a long enough time, uh, where you can start to really collect these kind of effort and time-saving sayings uh, in, into a, a a collection that can be passed down or or kind of weeded out for the good ones. Uh, you, you, can, you can find these things, and you can find uh, any such group will probably have at least some uh, of these kind of learned lessons uh, in verbal form that can and are passed around. And given how long some cultures have been around, uh, you can, and you know, the further back you go uh, for any particular uh, quote or any particular bit of advice, uh, there's at least some likelihood that it was useful to somebody at some point, uh, because otherwise, why would we have it today? And, of course, even among some of that stuff, uh, problem solving specifically is going to be the subject of some of them. Uh, some people will call the kind of whole collection of these things uh, as a good part of what common sense is. Uh, and unfortunately, there's so much you can kind of fit into the definition of common sense, even with very strict definitions, uh, that the term is kind of a misnomer. Uh, not everyone has common sense, and there's never been a point in history uh, where people have. The modern equivalent to proverbs, uh, I, I mean, the, I, I'm, I'm mostly taking this from a book written in, in the beginning of the last century, uh, but of course none of this is really specific to that period of history. Uh, we have media right now where large groups of people on the internet, of course, uh, are, are communicating and saving time that they could have been spending solving problems themselves by looking for advice on the internet. And so a lot of the, the, the equivalent of what proverbs would have been, say, a hundred years ago, uh, is often in the form of a picture of a cat with some text on it, uh, or a picture of some other funny animal with some text on it, uh, or maybe even some kind of a, a video form or an advertisement. In, in the new media world, there's all sorts of ways you can experience this happening. It doesn't really matter what the media is. The point is that it's justifying either something you know something you could know, something you believe or that you could believe, or some action that you're either going to take or have already taken. Now, 
of course, there's going to be a little bit of difference between uh, the kind of pictures of cats with text and some of the really ancient uh, oral history uh, proverbs that you'd say see in the King James Version of the Bible. Uh, but there's kind of a spectrum uh, between the two, uh, where uh, the, the more current and recent ones have been kind of created a lot of the time in respect to one person's experience uh, or to re in response to recent events or something that's happening in the now uh, and very seldom uh, are, are they kind of generalizable for other people's experience. Uh, however, this has been al always true. Uh, this is what we spend most of our, our life dealing with is problems that we ourselves face. Uh, and of course, some of those problems are going to be uh, in common with other people. Uh, and that has also always been the case. And so some people are going to be successful in life, some people aren't. Uh, and some people are going to be respected, uh, either for their wisdom or just for being dumb lucky. Uh, and uh, so there's going to be kind of a separating off of people who are listened to and people who are not listened to. Ideas from those people who are listened to and ideas that kind of get forgotten in the dustbin of history. And of those ideas that some people remember are going to be some of these things, some of these more general rules uh, that apply to more and more people. Uh, and uh, again, as time filters them out, and as groups, large groups, uh, kind of talk and communicate amongst themselves and learn what advice is, is useful to share, uh, you, you can kind of see over the longer term uh, that there's going to be some advice that's going to start as kind of specific to one situation. And it's going to maintain uh, some of the uh, specifics of that situation, uh, but not necessarily keep all of them. And so uh, you'll, you'll get advice relating to boats or to relating to being on the sea and people will use it as a metaphor for other things uh, in kind of a broader and broader context as time goes by. And memes specifically, the pictures of animals with text on them uh, is of course one instance of a type of a meme, uh, but memes generally can have information in them and they can have good information, information that's useful to you uh, and that I e would even recommend that you know or that you find out. Uh, some of the easier to find stuff, are the, at least in the modern terms, uh, or modern days, uh, is some of the mallard duck advice is actually good advice. Um, there's, uh, when I was looking for uh, examples, I, I found one that was like, use a condom. Well, yeah, that's actually pretty good advice. Um, you know, go, go do that. If you are in the situation where that is uh, appropriate, um, and but in general, uh, what differentiates uh, a large group of pictures of silly cats with text on it uh, from, say, science or uh, intelligence uh, informed by uh, kind of what we would understand as artificial intelligence or maze craft or any of these things that kind of order belief in in more uh, stringent ways. Uh, really, what, what differentiates those things from silly memes isn't that, say, science provides better advice than mallard duck pictures, although that may be true. Uh, it's really uh, not necessarily true, and it, it's, not, it, it's not that the science gives better advice so much as that it's a better way of, of, of providing a consistent advice and to make the, the things that science or, or the apparatus that we kind of call science believes consistent with both itself and the na natural world itself. Uh, so what, what you want to do is not necessarily believe uh, either science or these silly meme pictures purely on what the, the content is, but the way that the information itself is ordered. Which, of course, given pictures of silly cats, isn't very important. There's a guy named George Polya, uh, who we're going to talk about later. Uh, but what, one of the things that he tried to do is he tried to collect a list of the, pretty much every proverb he could find relating to uh, making decisions. Say what? That one. But uh, so, so he, he went and tried to create a list. And he tried to kind of sort it and, and kind of cultivate it and see if he could get useful things from it. And one of the things that he found right away is that pretty much for whatever you could say, uh, there's another saying uh, that's kind of equal and opposite to it. Uh, so there's a lot of things that uh, the, 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 the wisdom that we've either been passed down or, or that uh, people have at hand 
uh, you, you can argue either way. You can make the decision either way. And so, uh, on one hand, it's useful to have stuff like that around, because you can justify your behavior uh, no matter what you do. Uh, but on the other, there, there's going to be some things that are kind of going to stick out beyond that, uh, because they're going to be good advice uh, that you can just follow in general. And in general, you'll have a lot of latitude for interpretation, and you can kind of twist things to, to, to mean what you want them to be, etc. Uh, and he wasn't the first to try to do this. Uh, there's a guy named Erasmus uh, who tried to do something very similar from the sounds of it in the Middle Ages. Uh, he, Erasmus is an interesting character in his own right, and I'd recommend a, a quick Google to check out that Wikipedia page or something, uh, but it's kind of a side note in this particular discussion. Uh, but it would be interesting to see someone put together something like... Uh, it would have to be a lot more complex than... Uh, the, the you know, book or the chapter of the book that Polya wrote, because uh, we have a lot more meetings today. We have a lot more people sharing information and talking, and the information available is a lot larger, so you need to do something like make a wiki uh, of all the meme pictures generated until now, sorted by, say, topic or what they suggest, uh, and to some extent there's attempts to do things like this today. Uh, know Your Memes is a, an example that they kind of sorted by genre, but th there's really no attempt to look into the content of the meme and to kind of tear out what people who make them kind of suggest people do uh, in general. And especially for uh, ideas and sayings that have been around for a while, um, you need the ability to, uh, a as a group, uh, filter and take the ones that work and kind of leave out the ones that don't work. And so when you see a, a whole list of these things put together in a, a work that can't be edited, uh, the advice starts to grow stale. And the mistakes, especially for large works, uh, large enough that there are mistakes, um, can't be corrected. And so you wind up with this situation where you, you can't really learn from your mistakes, and the advice kind of gets worse and worse as time goes on. And if you take for granted that this list of uh, sayings and ideas and uh, things that could justify your opinion is perfect in every way, uh, you'll kind of go wrong in a bit because, again, you're, you're going to be missing things because they're, uh, even in the, the largest uh, kind of collections, i.e. the three main monotheistic religions, uh, there's glaring omissions. Uh, neither of the three uh, main religions uh, even talk about the efficiency of the bubble sort, for example. Uh, and there are mistakes in practically all of them. Uh, in the case of the King James uh, Bible, you can see 1 Chronicles 11 and 2 Samuel 23, and compare the numbers uh, for an example there. But regardless of that, it, it's, it's just, you, you have to be uh, careful regardless of where you get your information, whether it be science or uh, some book of, of sayings, uh, or, or anything that justifies your action, uh, and to be wary of both its limitations that it describes, and to make sure that you're keeping track to see uh, what its track record actually is, uh, so that you can get a, a, a gauge of not just what it says its limitations are, uh, but what its limitations actually are. Uh, Polly had made, a, made this point of gathering to, together these proverbs, uh, and so you, you can start, your, you, can, you can kind of imagine that if you didn't have signs, or if you didn't like science, you just don't like what it comes up with, or, or you, you, you don't like Bayescraft, or you don't like you know, these ways of ordering information, and you do have this collection of kind of collected wisdom that your, your group or in-group or whatever has acquired throughout time, that you could just do the same, you could start at pretty much the same spot. You could do a comprehensive meta-analysis of all of them, and group them together, and find out what they suggest you do, what actions they suggest, and then kind of work it out from there, what problems you can solve, and so on. And uh, as kind of mentioned, the, 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 the sayings have to slowly divorce themselves about from their specific situations so that they can be used in more uh, general and broad contexts uh, bit by bit. Uh, and unfortunately, uh, this is hard to do so with memes specifically because we have the ability to share uh, these pictures with perfect fi fidelity. 
So there's there's no loss, there's no reinterpretation in our mind. We just kind of go click share, and then it's sent to the next person. And so what we might see is if there's another kind of shift in the way that we use technology in our lifetime, which there, given there's been enough shifts in my lifetime, I, I'd say we'll probably see that. Uh, and it'll probably be virtual reality with something like Oculus Rift. Uh, but when that happens, people are going to have to start to think about what things from this era that we're living in today would be best shared and what makes sense to share and what makes sense in the context of their lives at that point in time. And so some of the more general memes will probably start to look a little bit more like the old ones. So what are some of the things that we could talk about when, when we're kind of thinking about problem solving? What are some of the kind of cheap and easy ways uh, to, to approach this? Well, you'd have to understand the problem first. Quote, who understands ill, answers ill. Think before you act. Or the Latin version of that apparently is respice finem, if I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, so that's an old one. If the end is not clear in your mind, we may easily stray from the problem and drop it. A wise man begins in the end, a fool ends in the beginning. Quote. Quote. Where there is a will, there's a way. Quote. Know what you're doing and know who's coming with you in that order, right? So you have to, you know, unwrap your mind around the problem and then kind of grab the resources you need to solve that problem. And in general, that you're going to have to actually, you know, if you if you have a problem, you're going to actually have to go through the process of solving it. And solving it is going to be, you know, we want the solution, we want ideas to get to the solution, but we're going to have to work at it. So what are some kind of examples of this? Quote, diligence is the mother of good luck. Quote, quote, an oak is not felled by one stroke. Uh, you'll probably have to work at it. Quote, if at first you don't succeed, try, try again. One of the more modern ones. Uh, quote, one does not simply understand the class, yet not do the work. Unquote. I.e., in order to pass a class and understand the subject, you actually probably have to work at it. Um, and of course, we don't have a 100% chance of success. Uh, e even the best at... Uh, of, of efforts is going to occasionally go wrong. So, quote, from a bad luck Brian meme, quote, uh, buys Lysol disinfectant wipes killed by the 0.1% of the germs, unquote. So, again, it, it, this is something that you could kind of see as an example of something where it's supposed to, you know, cover this, you know, the vast majority of cases, and then it doesn't in this case. And in either case, uh, when we're solving problems, we're probably going to have to learn math to do them. Quote, from the advice dog meme, deal drugs, learn math. You know, even in something as simple as that, uh, there's going to be advantages for understanding how to uh, deal with numerical problems. And the very idea uh, of a long walk, which is kind of a, a meme uh, from my background, is, is again, just a, a way that of getting across the idea that there's going to be a lot of work involved in this. Uh, help other people with their problems. Quote, good guy Greg listens to sister's bullshit and gives a shit, unquote. Uh, sometimes you'll have to try uh, and you'll get no data from things that you try. Quote, from the most, is most interesting man in the world meme, no answer is also an answer, unquote. It's not enough to just try and bang your head against the wall on something. You actually have to try different things and different approaches uh, if you want to succeed. Uh, quote, things which have never yet been done can be done or can't be done except by means which have never been tried. Unquote. Quote, try all the keys in the bunch. Unquote. Quote, arrows are made of all kinds or all sorts of wood. Quote, we must adapt our uh, trials to our circumstances. As the wind blows, you must set your sail. Cut your coat according to the cloth. As you can see, in some of these cases, you can imagine that this probably started as a literal saying, you know, at some cl cloth cutting place. Quote, we must do as we may if we can't do as we would. Quote, the definition of insanity is doing the same thing and expecting different results. Have two strings to your bow. Quote, 
The end of fishing is not angling, but catching. So sometimes you want to change the world, uh, and you can have a better chance at doing so if you don't let your personal ego uh, or your desire to fame get in the way. Quote, Good guy Greg has been a successful meme for over two years and has never come forward to capitalize on his fame. Unquote. Quote, Good guy Greg, again, creates good, good memes secretly, anonymously responsible for the laughter of millions. Unquote. Sometimes we get to the solution in front of us, but we don't see it because it's invisible. It's not necessarily that it's not there, it's just we don't see it. Uh, and the expert doesn't necessarily see things that a novice wouldn't, uh, but the expert knows what's important and what to look for, uh, and isn't uh, just going to pass it by. So, quote, a wise man will make more opportunities than he finds, unquote. Quote, a wise man will make tools of what comes to hand, unquote. Quote, a wise man turns chance into good fortune. So another thing which might be handy is to not believe what you want to believe before you have sufficient evidence for it. Quote, look before you leap, unquote. Quote, try before you trust. If you will sail without danger, you must never put to sea. Or, that sounds backwards. Or if you won't sail without danger, you must never put to sea. Uh, quote, little by little, as the cat ate the fickle. Uh, quote, engineers do it by degrees. I've seen a t-shirt of that one. Uh, quote, uh, douchebag Steve states that I'm not a scientist, uh, so uh, I can't give an opinion on climate science, and then gives opinions on women's sexual health, economics, and foreign policy. Unquote. The order that we invent or build things is often enough the exact opposite uh, order that we discover them. Um, so you, you know, kind of have to put things together in a certain order, and uh, that order is kind of defined by how well, or the, the order that you understand the, the specific parts. Quote, what a fool does last, a wise man does first. Unquote. It's also useful to double check your work and look at the conclusion after you're done. Quote, it is safe riding at two anchors, unquote, i.e., you know, have a backup. You know, if you can't finish and you can't figure out the solution to your problem, at least make some progress on it and make sure that other people who might face the same problem are able to follow your work uh, and have access to your results, even if you can't actually succeed. Quote, good guy caveman grog dies in a place easy enough to find for future research, unquote. And of course, there's just general good advice that's kind of related to this, which, such as, quote, the end suggests the means, unquote. Quote, who, what, when, wh who, what, when, where, how, and why. Quote, look around when you have your first mushroom or made your first discovery. They, gl they grow in clusters. Quote, if you're thinking with portals, does that mean that you can jump to conclusions? Quote, let's all get high, grades on our finals, unquote. And so this, this is just kind of an example. So some of the things I've, I've kind of pulled apart from Polya and memes on the internet. Uh, but again, this is just a beginning point. If, regardless of, of what your source of information is, kind of cultivate the, the parts of it that are specific to solving problems. And hopefully, once you have that collection of things, you can work with it and try to make it more accurate, more useful, try to see how useful it is, and to see if there's other ways that it could be more useful to you. So, as usual, uh, are there any questions from the audience today? Any questions? And uh, if you do have questions, uh, feel free to post them anywhere where this video is posted. Uh, this is a service for you, the listener, and uh, uh, as usual, there should be a Bitcoin address on the bottom here so that uh, you can fund our whiteboard marker supply, which we are getting desperately low on at this point, point. Um, and uh, hopefully you enjoy. Uh, see you next video.